Easter, everyone. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Let's get the video started. Let's get to a quiz now. Let's go. <laughs> to all of you guys. And now we have the Easter quiz. And it's question 20, 20, 20 questions. And they're all randomly done. So let's get started with question number one. And that is how many Easter bunnies are manufactured each, each year? So how many Easter bunnies are manufactured each year? Question number two, multiple answers this one. The most famous East, Easter parade is held where? Is it held in New York, London or Paris? So the most famous Easter parade, where is it held? New York, London or Paris? Question number three. When are hot cross buns eaten? So when, when do you eat your hot cross buns? What day? Okay, next question. Question number four. In the United States, traditionally, Easter is included what meat? There are three types of meat. So, in the United States, traditionally Easter foods include what meat? And there's three, and there's three types of those meats. And let's write them down. If you're United States, you've got to get that right, haven't you? Okay. Question number five. What country eats, eats the most jelly beans at Easter? So, which country eats the most jelly beans at Easter? And now for some true and false questions. These could be true or they could be false. You decide. <clears throat> Here we are, number six. The word, the word Easter appears in the Old Testament Bible. True or false? So the word Easter appears in the Old Testament Bible. True or false? Number seven. The rabbit is an ancient symbol for fertility. True or false? So the rabbit is an ancient symbol for fertility. True or false? Question number eight. There we go. The egg represents new life or the resurrection of Christ. True or false? So the egg represents new life for the resurrection of Christ, true or false? Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. No drink yet. The most... Number nine now, we're on number nine. If you want to know, number nine. The most popular Easter candy is a chocolate bunny. So let's start again, I'll start again. Didn't say it properly. The most popular American Easter candy is a chocolate bunny. So... The most popular American Easter candy is a chocolate bunny. Is that true or is it false? Number 10. The idea of the Easter bunny was originated in 1700s. In which country? Russia, United States, Germany or Great Britain? So the idea of the Easter bunny was originated in 1700s. In which country? Russia, United States, Germany or Great Britain? Question 11. The idea of the Easter Bunny was originated in Germany in 1700. Was not a rabbit originated, but was it a hase, a possum, a cat, or a dove? I repeat that. The idea of the Easter Bunny was originated in Germany in the 1700s. Was not a rabbit. It was originally, originally a hase, a possum, a cat, or a dove. What is it to be? <clears throat> number 12. We're well, number 12 now. Getting interesting. The most popular American Easter candy is chocolate bunnies, marshmallow peeps, jelly beans, or chocolate cream filled eggs. I repeat that. The most popular American candy is chocolate bunnies, marshmallow peeps, jelly beans, or chocolate cream filled eggs. Question number 13. What flower is associated with Easter? 
rose a lily, a pansy, or crossus. So what flower is associated with Easter? A rose, a lily, a pansy, a crossus. Question number 14. It's getting interesting now. Question number 14. Which animal in America is, is in Australia instead of a rabbit? And why? Is it a kangaroo, a, wom a wombat, a crawler, or a bear with me a second, or billy bee, a B-I-L-B-Y. So which animal is used in Australia instead of a rabbit and why? A kangaroo, a wombat, a cola, or billy bee, which is B spelled B-I-L-B-Y. Question number 15. Which country has tradition has traditionally of eating hot cross buns at Easter? So which country has traditionally of eating hot cross buns at Easter? What country does that? Question number sixteen. Who held the first egg rolled egg roll on the White House lawn? And and in what year? So who held the first egg row on the, on, on the White House lawn and in what year? Question number 17. There are two traditional Easter games. What are they? So there are two traditional Easter games. What are they? Number 18. What colours are associated with Easter? So what colours are associated with Easter? And there's two colours. So what two colours associated with Easter? So you need to write them down. Question number 19. How much did the world's most expensive egg sell for and who made it? So how much did the world's most expensive egg sell for and how much was it? And last question, but not least, the UK should get this. What year did Cadbury start? So what year did Cadbury start? Now... We have the answers for you. Swap your questions with everybody. Or swap your questions with yourself if you're on your own. Okay. This is going to be good. Ready for the answers? Ready? Get your pens and paper ready. We're going to tick them off. How many Easter bunnies are manufactured each year? And the answer is more than 90 million. If you got under that, you have found the answer. If you got over that with a number, tick yourself. So if you said 100 million, that's good enough because I said more done, didn't I? So I had to recheck the answer. Bear with me. The most famous Easter... This is number two, by the way. The first famous Easter Pride was held where? And the answer is New York. What are hot cross... What are hot cross buns when they eat in? What day do you eat them? And the answer is Good Friday. Number four. In the United States, traditionally Easter foods include what three meats? And they are, you ready? Ham, chicken and lamb. Number five, what country eats the most jelly beans at Easter? And that's America. Number six question, the word Easter appears on the Old Testament in the Bible. Is that true or false? And the answer is false. Number seven, the rabbit is an ancient symbol of vitality. Is that true or false? The answer is false. I meant to say true. Sorry, rephrase that. The rabbit is an ancient symbol of vitality. That is true. Sorry, it's actually true. It's true. Put it down. It's true. Number eight, the egg represents the new life of the resurrection of Christ. And the answer is true. The most popular American Easter candy is is the chocolate bunny and that is false i'm surprised if you put it wrong <laughs> number 10 the idea of the easter bunny was originated in the 1700s in which country and the answer is germany number 11 the idea of the easter bunny was originated in germany in the 1700s and was not a rabbit originally it was it was a hace as h-a-c-e Number 12. The most popular America candy 
Easter candy is Marshmallow Peeps. And number 13. What flower is associated with Easter? And the answer is Lily. And, and which animal is used in America instead of a rabbit and why? And the answer in Australia, yeah, what's, what animal is associated in Australia instead of a rabbit and why? And the answer is a billy bee, it's B-I-L-B-Y. He has very long ears and a mousy-like nose. Um, Australian rabbits are not popular animals because they damage crops. Now you know why. Number 15. Number 15. Um, I'm trying to steady his camera. Bear with me. Get an arm ache. <laughs> Which country has... This is, this is 15, remember. Which country has traditionally of eating hot cross buns by buns at Easter? And that's Great Britain. Number 16. Who held the first Easter egg roll at the White House lawn and what year was it? And the answer is Lucy Hayes, the wife of the President Rutherford B. Hayes in 1878. Number 17. What are the two traditional Easter games? And I are, yeah, everyone should know this, Easter Egg Hunt and the Egg Roll. And, and number 18, what two colours associated with Easter? And the answer, is, the answer is purple and yellow. Number 19, how much did the world's most expensive egg sell for? And who made it? It cost $9.5 million dollars. The white egg designed by Furabarashi, as F-A-B-E-R-G-E. -E. And last one, 20. What year did Cadbury start? It's 1824. And thank you for joining Easter Quiz. I hope you learned something there. When you cover from a migraine, and realise you were... Wake up in the afternoon and you've got time in the evening, you tidy to tidy up. <laughs> Made it all nice, all laid out easy for me. Can't put everything in the cupboards, there's no room. Got drinks and everything, yeah, awesome. If you're doing an Easter egg hunt, you have to find, I ain't found your bed egg, but this is the shape you have to find. You have to find that, that, and that. In the next clip, they'll be hidden in the garden and you have to find them and put in the comments below where they are. Now let's hide the, let's hide the objects. Okay, let's begin our challenge and uh, let the music roll. I hope you found it, because they are in the garden, and I did pass it with the camera. Put in the comments below if you found them all. Here's Katie relaxing in the garden. She likes the shade, she's gone underneath the shade. Let's go underneath there and have a look what she's under. Where's she gone? Oh, she's over here. Oh, I have to go around this way. Katie. What are you doing? Having a nice rumble and tumble there. She's loving that. Look at that. Making the most of it, aren't you?
Yay. It's because she's been brushed. That's why. She's got itches. Put a bit of music for this, eh? Tiddles indoors while the sun's out. You're indoors while the sun's out. Why? Why? Why are you indoors while the sun's out? Why? You should be outdoors. It's lovely out there, isn't it? This is an awkward cat. I tell you, it's just an awkward cat. He's a nighttime cat, not daytime cat, really.
Easter eggs, um, and it's not the orange. It's Smarties, I got this from Caroline, my neighbour, she come round and delivered it. Very, very lovely of her. And I got this one myself, because it was on sale. And I also got this one ages ago, myself, but I got an extra Mars bar in there. Yeah, I got a Mars, a Cadbury, and an Essel. Three different companies, three different chocolate companies. Everyone's been doing a song of this, um, we can't say it, but everyone's been doing a song of this Mexican beer. So I thought I'd do my own version of the song, so you all can join in. So let's join in together with this song. It starts off like this. Here we go. Stay indoors. Stay indoors and be safe. Stay indoors and be safe. Stay indoors and be safe. Wash your hands, 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 wash your hands. Stay indoors and be safe. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Tell me what you think. Hi guys, I've made a poem, kind of a rap. It's not the best, but I'm not very good at rapping, but I've wrote this out myself, so here we go. I don't like what's going on with this Mexican beer. But all we can do is stay safe, keep calm and keep our distance. We have crazy people going out and messing up the rules. But then again, they are the fools. We have to stay, stay in and stay safe. But we're getting bored out of our mind. But then again, they are the rules. But look at the upside, we can learn something. Have you tried learning a language? And now is the time. Once you have learned, once you have learned, you've achieved something. You could call up your family and your friends any time. So pick up the phone and give them a call. Even if it's five minutes, ten minutes or even an hour long. You'll see that they're okay. But don't forget the hashtag with me. It's there for a reason. A reason to connect us all. Hi Jet, with Sun Whoa. That was brilliant. I dropped you on the floor guys. I hope you fooled all right. <laughs> the sun's beaming through, look, the sun's all over me. I can't actually get burnt in here, it's ridiculous. Like a sauna, like a sauna. It's like a filter, isn't it, really? But it's still coming through. Where's everybody? Where's... I'm in the garden on my own. I'm the only one in the garden. I'm the only one in the garden. I'm the only one in the garden. Doesn't rhyme, does it? Hi everyone, I'm working from home today. Um, train spying's my hobby, so I have to work from home now. This is a live camera. So I hope you find something. I get it on camera. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? I can choose my cameras where I wanted to go. The other one before that was York. This is Derby. Chesterfield, it says Chesterfield and Sheffield. It's got it on there, so you see. Not happening here at the moment, is there? This one here is abroad somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's abroad somewhere. This one's Kansas City. See the train rails up there. Yeah, nothing happening. Yeah, no train rails along here. I see them just here. Yes, yeah, it's Kansas. I'm not sure where this one is, but I don't think it's in this country. It's American to me. Because the rail crossings look different. But you know, if a train comes, they'd make a noise, wouldn't they? Just want to think what happened on this one. Wait, we have some progress. It's a train. You see it? Yeah, we've got a train. There we are. Finally got one. Fireworks again.
Tell us where you going? Are you going back in? The garden at night, isn't it nice? Oh, by the way, um, this guy needs a clean up at night. The solar lights are on. As you can see, the solar lights have got them on now. Katie's still out here. Look at the cat's eyes, you see that? Hello, Katie. Chilling, yeah? She's no so nice and cool. Comfortable and cool. This is the garden at night, you don't often see it at night. But yeah, this is what it's garden like at night. Nice and fresh. There's Tiddles in the garden at night. If I wanted to see that. Where's he off to? It's a bit of hay, it's a bit of grass. <laughs> it's a bit of grass. Let's put that away. I'll get the birds. Hear the birds. What cats get up to at night? You wonder, don't you? Where are you off to? Where is it? Where is it? up to. I like these lights, they're really good. That one just gone out, that just stopped. It's been going before this one. But yeah, I like these ones, they're really nice. They were not bad for a pounder, is it? It's a garden without the flash. See a cat, just about to see a cat there. See Katie. <laughs> Here, keep them cosy there, eh? We had a bit of an issue with the Tasmo coffee machine because it broke down it's apparently the, the water's been put inside and it's not working um and didn't know what the issue was but i found a way i can't use the machine for a start but i know it's a filtered system and i have a filter where i normally filter coffee and tea so i thought wait a second let's filter that but the only thing, the only downside is it's not the milk. It's not going to do the hot, consistent, frothy milk. Um, I will work that one out somehow. But I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I'll work it out somehow. I work out how the system works and do it myself. Perhaps it'll work. But at the moment, it's done all right. What I might do, I might pour uh, the milk in another. The, it's like a cream, more or less than the milk, into another cup. And give it a bit of a whisk. And then pour it into another cup, if you know what I mean. But at the moment, considered I've got the drink, the caramel Costa, and it has worked. But I can taste why I haven't whipped the cream. So what I do, I whip it with a bit of hot water and it will work. Because that's, that's how it's supposed to come anyway. Yeah, at least I found a way.